If your car won't start or your lights are acting up, a multimeter can help you figure out what's wrong. In this video, we'll walk through four essential car tests every driver should know. Let's get started. To test the battery, grab your multimeter. Connect the probes and set it to measure DC voltage. With the engine off, let's check the reading. Connect the red probe to the positive terminal and the black probe to the negative. A healthy battery should show between 12.3 and 12.7 volts. Let's start the engine and check again. You'll notice the voltage dip when starting the car. If it dips below 10 volts, it could indicate a weak battery that may need replacing soon. To test your relay, start by locating your fuse box. Most vehicles have one under the hood, and sometimes another inside the cabin. Once you've opened the fuse box, pull out the relay you want to test. Now grab your multimeter and set it to 200 ohms. On most standard relays, the coil terminals are labeled 85 and 86. Place the probes on those terminals. Since we're only measuring resistance, polarity doesn't matter. You should get a reading between 50 to 200 ohms. That means the coil is still good. If you get no reading or a very high resistance, the coil is slightly damaged. There's a guide behind the fuse box cover. It tells you what each fuse and relay is for. Let's pull one out so you can see it up close. You can do a quick visual check. If the metal strip inside is broken or burned, the fuse is blown. But sometimes, the damage isn't obvious. That's where the multimeter helps. Set your multimeter to continuity mode. That's the one with the symbol that looks like a sound wave. Touch one probe to each side of the fuse. Polarity doesn't matter here. If the fuse is good, you'll hear a beep or see a reading close to zero. That means electricity can flow through. No beep or the screen says OL or shows a very high number, that fuse is blown and needs to be replaced. You can also test the fuse while it's out, just to be sure. Touch one probe to each metal end. It's the same process. Similar to the battery test, we're checking the voltage at the terminals. Go ahead and start the engine. You should see the voltage rise right away. Typically somewhere between 13.8 and 14.5 volts. That tells you the alternator is charging. Now let's see how it handles load. Turn on the AC, radio, hazard lights, headlights, and the rear defogger. With everything on, the voltage should still stay above 13 volts. If it drops below 12.8, your alternator might be getting weak, or you might have a loose belt or poor connection. If your voltage stays steady under load, then your alternator is doing its job. These four simple tests can help you catch electrical problems early and fix them before they leave you stranded.